Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Season 2 Episode 5. I do not have anything to say before the start of the episode, but as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go right into this episode right now. What are they fighting over? <laughs> you guys are adults, bro. You need to chill out. <laughs> oh, some backstory. The priestess of the holy sea. Is, is this Alma? Oh, it is Alma. <laughs> mm, no, she's just a dragon. <laughs> God, she looks so different with her long hair. So what's Toru's issue with all this then at first? Like, true, Toru is very different in that regard, isn't she? God, they're so different to how they are together now. What the hell? Look at her now. <laughs> <laughs> they spent a few decades together, lol. Oh god, you wiped out friggin' human cities while doing it, Jesus. Oh, okay. That's one way to look at it, I suppose. Yeah, she needs to think things through. It's, it's not as easy as just to give the humans whatever they want. I understand they're wanting to do the, the most for humans, but I get that... Higher beings need to be higher beings. And that's it. Yo, dragon fight! <laughs> She's always wanted food, man. For fuck's sake. God, their dragon designs look so good. Holy crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? And now look at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're such idiots now, I love it. <laughs> Kobayashi spits facts a lot of the time. Uh, Toto's a gluten for a different reason. <laughs> oh, I love them, they're both so cute. True, they fight like Zoro and Sanji, except these guys are, you know, dragons. <laughs> oh, Toru was always so alone. So she really had someone before she even came to the human world, even if they fought, like, gods. <laughs> Ilulu, you need to get a job. <laughs> you need a purpose. <laughs> Century. <laughs> I think Toru's got the maid duty down, to be honest. He needs an actual job. I wonder what she'd do for work. <laughs> she doesn't want any other dragons working with Kobayashi all day. <laughs> oh, that's good. She finally has hands. Nice. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Classic chaos dragon. <laughs> what would she do then? Ilulu, how can you just walk up to some random kids and say you want to play? <gasps> Beyblade! <laughs> Uburo shop. Is it like a little, a little snack shop or something? Oh, it's a sweet shop. This would be nice for her. Or like a, a like one of those kid, kid, kitty shops, I suppose. It seems like a really nice place to work for her. Is she the same age? Jeez, she looks younger. Oh, she got a Valtrum Terror as well. <laughs> She's so good. This would be a perfect place for her to work. She'd be so happy doing it. <laughs> True, having Toru there with everybody knowing Toru probably did help. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, to be, to be able to just walk into somewhere and be like, I want to work here. This is something I'm passionate about. <laughs> Yeah, Terra's good at her stuff, though. I mean, after a while. Oh, that's so cute. Why do they need a fire, though? Like, surely they don't get cold. They're like magic dragons. She's like, oh, fine. Oh, this is the grandma's uh, grandson. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Is Toru so 
I was going to say, Teru, is, is Teru coming off as 16 in this world? Is she that tiny? Or is she like sitting down? Oh, she was sitting down. Illulu, are you crazy? <laughs> You're in a kid store. <laughs> um, yeah, she does actually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's gonna tease him so much. <laughs> oh, she looks like she's gonna be good at it. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. She really doesn't get what's good and what isn't in this world. Where do I recognize this voice actor, actually? Um, oh, I can't think of it. Maybe you could be like a nursery worker or something. But obviously, you can work here for now. Aw, that's cute. She could be like a teacher. Um, maybe, I don't know. <gasps> Beyblade. Second to Gobayashi, that's cute. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they traveled like this for three decades. That's adorable. I would wish for food, my favorite food for myself and my favorite food for you. These guys are best friends. All right, so that was Kobayashi's Maid, Maid Dragon Season 2, Episode 5. I uh, really enjoyed that episode. It's really nice to see uh, the kind of moment with Ilulu really taking a shyness to what she actually wanted to do in this world. It was really cute and I love this job for her. Um, I really liked this. I really enjoyed the Elmer and Kobayashi backstory. As always, it looked gorgeous. Um, the dragon designs were super nice. And I was really more... I love kind of moments that don't just seem like, you know, happy-go-lucky, kind of wholesome, which is obviously most of this anime. But the more serious kind of look into the dragon's lives uh, moments in the anime is really good. I really, really appreciate these moments. Um, it kind of give, gives us kind of more a more of an insight into obviously Elmer and Kobayashi, not Kobayashi, Itoru, um, and obviously how they are more, you know, they, they're better friends than they come across as, and it's just really cute, just wholesome, make me go, my heart squeeze all throughout the episodes. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say, and that is that. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.